So today I'll be talking about recycling electronics. Um, it's important to understand the importance of recycling electronics and to know where to recycle electronics. It's also important to take action and go out and recycle your electronics next time one of your devices fail. Uh, why should you recycle? They contain a lot of valuable and precious resources like gold, gold, silver, and copper that we may want to recover and reuse. Apple's extracted gold from recycled electronics in 2015 amounted to about 40 million hack, uh, hack 2019. There's a lot of energy that goes into manufacturing, into the manufacturing of electronics. 81% of the total energy associated with a computer is used in manufacturing. Recycling electronics means that not as many new electronics will uh, need to be produced and not as much energy will be needed. One million laptops can save enough energy to run almost 4,000 houses for a whole year. Hack Canada. I mean, Hack 2019. <laughs> uh, many of the resources used to make your device have damaging uh, extraction processes that are harmful to worker health or the environment. If you recycle, you minimize the damage for more new resources to be extracted. Cobalt makes up 60% uh, of lithium ion batteries, which has been reported to spill out of mines into water and soil. Said soil has become infertile and ingested wa water with cobalt contamination can cause lung disease, heart failure, and possibly cancer. Watts 2019. This is a graph of um, the composition of iPhones and personal computers like laptops and yeah. So it said that 31.1 gram of aluminum makes up most of phones and silica or glass is, makes up 26% uh, of computers, which is a lot. So some of these things can be really harmful to the environment. And yeah, it's a huge recycle. Only 20% of old electronics around the world are recycled. Some places such as California have developed policies to reinforce recycling of electronics. California uses a recycling fee paid by consumers who buy electronics. Uh, globally, 80% of old electronics that people dispose of end up in landfills. Toxic materials like lead, mercury, and cadmium can leach into the environment around the landfill. E-waste, uh, which is old electronics that end up in landfill, is the fastest growing type of waste in the world. Many recyclers don't have the most ethical or environmentally friendly practices. 50 to about 80% of e-recycling is shipped overseas to developing countries where workers aren't paid enough and are exposed to dangerous substances. The quality of the recycled materials from e-recycling is decreasing as devices are, made, are getting made with cheaper and cheaper materials and therefore contain less precious metals and are harder to fix or recover materials from but there's still hope and a reason to recycle. There are great organizations dedicated to improving electronic recycling standards, such as the ERA, which is Electronic Recycling Association in Canada and in the US, and the ISRI, the Institution of Scrap Recycling Industries in the United States. Even if the raw materials and electronics are going down in value, it is still critical to recycle to prevent leaching in landfills and to save energy. So how do you recycle electronics? There are two main categories of electronic recycling, uh, refurbishing and repurposing. One, refurbishing. In the stream of e-recycling, parts of your old device will be used to make another new refurbished device. This option is for you if your device is still good and working condition is still in good working condition, but you need a new one for whatever reason. You can often return your old device to wherever you bought it. You can often get money or credited 
or credit towards a new device. At Apple Canada, you could get up to $60 uh, $60 trade-in value for an iPhone 6S. Repurposing. Apple also has a program for recycling electronics with very advanced tech. Just bring your device into your local Apple store and they will recycle it for free. One of the organizations referenced before, the ERA, offers recycling programs as well. The ERA offers drop-off locations throughout Canada as well as a pickup service. Apple Store Recycling. If your device is in good condition and you want to buy a new device, you can trade your old device in your store credit or a discount on or a discount on your new device. If your device is in, in good condition, Apple can still recycle your device. This is by donation. Apple trade-ins. You can either go to Apple store in person to trade in your device or to follow the online instructions to ship in your device. Going in person. You can find your local store by selecting one of the drop-down menu at the top of this page. Make sure to follow all these guidelines to pre prepare your old device for a trade-in. Make sure uh, your info is safe. So for an iPhone or an iPad or iPod touch, you can go to this link and then this is for the Mac and this is for an Apple Watch if you wanna trade in those devices. Apple trade-ins online. The online shipping instructions are sent to you via mail after you buy your new device online. Once you've entered the uh, Apple website, by going to this link, uh, you can scroll down to the bottom of the page to, ex to explore products and select the device you want to buy as well as the color and how many gigabytes you want. When I ask you if you have an iPhone to trade in, you can click yes. Al alternative trade-ins. The following businesses also offer uh, electronic trade-in programs. So Amazon's one of them, Best Buy, It's Worth More, and Buy Back World. ERA recycling programs, so pick up and drop off. To book a pickup, you can go to this uh, link and then pick select pickup, simple pickup to just give in your address and name rather than a bunch of complicated descriptions on your device. ERA drop off, recycling depots, scroll down to the bottom of their homepage. Here you will find the names of some major cities in Canada and in the US. You can click on your city or the city closest to you. So as you can see here, after you click, um, like after you scroll down, you can see the locations here and the cities that you might wanna go to to recycle your electronics. ERA drop-off or, uh, so once you have clicked on your city, you will see a big picture with contact us, questions on the side. Scroll down to the bottom of the picture to see the information about your local depot. Here's Toronto's page. So the first highlighted bit is the address of the depot, and the second is the phone number to call. You can call the local number to find out more information about things like store hours and how to prepare electronics for recycling. And here's another site to look at. So you can look at Best Buy, you can recycle old electronic devices, including cords and batteries at Best Buy. Simply bring your items to the customer service desk and put batteries in the call to recycle box. Visit the website to see which items are uh, they accept. More sites to look at. Recycle My Electronic, uh, Electronics for Canada. This is just for those living in Canada. Clicking on your province and Put in your postal code or address to see a map of all the places near you where you can recycle your, your electronics. Includes public service office, retail stores, or refurbishing and OES service providers, strict en uh, environmental and worker regulations. If you are interested in learning more facts and perspectives on the world of e-waste and e-recycling, this blog is useful. So I scroll down to the bottom to click uh, how it works. And then now I'm brought to this page. So first I'm gonna go to depot locations and look at which place is like closest to me. So let's say I'm like in Toronto, right? Maybe I can go down 
over here. So I can go to this location here after I've done that. There's also a little like person that can help you if you're confused or lost. And then after I've found a location that's close to me, I can go back. So I press the backspace. You can go to book a pickup. So here I'm going to do simple pickup. And so here's the amount of items that you want to give in. So like if it's 25 items, you want to click over here. If it's 25 to 50, which is medium, you can click here. So I'm going to do a small one and type in my first name. I'm not putting that here. <laughs> Uh, so let's just say R and then D. I don't really have a company name. So I think that would be the company name for the electronic. And then my email. And then I just fill all this out, click not a robot and then submit. Uh, this is, you can click after you're finished uh, filling out how to like book and stuff like that, you can go to like this website here or like click on what they accept and you can scroll down and see what they accept for desktops, notebooks, printers, computer referrals. So like that'd be like things like keyboards, mouses, CDs or DVDs and they list them underneath them. So then you can like find out what's acceptable to uh, recycle there. And after I do that, I can click, I can click the backspace on the left hand corner and click, click uh, data security, which I can just read about and figure out like if the data I hand in is like 100% destroyed in the process or like my information isn't going to get out. Uh, thank you for listening. If you like want to look at more lessons and stuff like that, you can go here.